Immigration and Europe, what role should they play in our economy? Six months to go to the general election, it's becoming the key question. Interviewed this morning, the Home Secretary got tongue-tied and appeared to accept the Conservatives' pledge to slash immigration would not be met. Just watch her hesitation. Well, when we made that uh, comment, when we said, when we said our aim was that what we wanted to do... didn't want to use to the do, word promise there. Wasn't well, it a promise? Was, we, we, we said we would be aiming to bring the uh, net migration down to the tens of thousands and we wanted to do that within this parliament. It came as business leaders stressed the benefits of migrants to the economy while warning of the dangers of leaving Europe. And we should not be fooled. By withdrawing from Europe, we do not somehow become more open to trade elsewhere. Instead, we turn inwards, going against the grain of an increasingly connected world. So it is with the issue of immigration. 63% of CBI members say that it is beneficial to their businesses. Only 1% say it has been negative. David Cameron had wanted to pitch infrastructure investment as one of the roads to economic stability. Instead, he was steered back to those two issues. Britain needs proper controls on immigration, he insisted, and the European Union needs reforming. Simply standing here and just saying, I will stay in Europe, I will stick with whatever we have, come what may, that is not a strategy, that is not a plan, and that won't work. Nick Clegg also delivered a speech to the conference today in which he warned of the threats posed by Labour to the economy and those posed by the Conservatives to Europe. They'll also hear from Ed Miliband this afternoon in which he'll say that talk of leaving the EU poses a clear and present danger to British prosperity. I think it would be disastrous for the UK to come out of the European Union, not least because it is in Britain's economic interest for its government to stay on the field, batting for Britain within Europe, instead of walking off, taking its bat, and business has been left in a situation where they would have to, in or out, comply with European regulations if they want to sell into the EU market. Today is about three party leaders setting out their stalls ahead of an election. It's a tough balance to strike, courting the business community, while sounding suitably tough to voters on immigration and EU reform. Ellie Price, BBC News, Westminster.